I survived the sinking of the Titanic. It's been over a decade since that fateful night, but the memories still haunt me. The events of April 14, 1912, forever changed my life and the lives of countless others. Allow me to take you back to that night, to the tragedy that unfolded in the icy waters of the North Atlantic. As a young man, filled with dreams of a better future, I boarded the Titanic with a heart full of hope. The ship was a marvel, the epitome of luxury and grandeur. I had secured a ticket for third-class accommodations, but to me, it was a chance for a new beginning. The atmosphere on board was electric. Passengers from all walks of life mingled, sharing stories and aspirations. As we sailed further away from Southampton, the anticipation grew. The Titanic was like a floating city, bustling with excitement, as if it carried the hopes and dreams of every soul on board. The days passed in a blur of wonder and exploration. I reveled in the splendor of the ship, gazing in awe at the grand staircase, where elegant ladies descended in their finest attire. The ballroom echoed with laughter and the melody of the orchestra. The ship was a world of its own, a microcosm of society. But that blissful existence would soon be shattered. On the evening of April 14th, as the ship sailed through calm waters, rumors spread among the crew. Whispers of icebergs ahead. We, the passengers, remained oblivious to the imminent danger. That night, I retired to my small cabin, the excitement of the journey still coursing through my veins. Little did I know that soon, my world would be turned upside down. As the clock struck eleven, a deep thud reverberated through the ship. The sudden jolt threw me from my bed filling my heart with a foreboding sense of dread. Confusion and panic gripped the corridors as passengers stumbled out of their cabins, seeking answers. I hurried to the deck, joining the chaotic scene that unfolded before me. Crew members rushed to the lifeboats, passengers clad in their nightclothes gathered in a state of disbelief. The reality sank in, our unsinkable ship was sinking. Fear not at my insights, but I pushed it aside. Survival instincts took hold. I fought my way through the crowd, desperate to find an escape route. The ship listed to one side, making it increasingly difficult to maintain balance. I stumbled and fell, the icy deck numbing my hands as I tried to rise. Amidst the chaos, I heard the voice of a crew member directing passengers towards the lifeboats. I followed the instructions, clutching onto hope like a lifeline. But as I reached the lifeboat deck, I was met with a chilling sight. The lifeboats, suspended high above, were far from filled to capacity. I pleaded with the crew to allow me on board, to no avail. Women and children were given priority, leaving me and many others to face an uncertain fate. It was a cruel moment, watching the lifeboats descend into the water, each one a small vessel of salvation. Desperation consumed me, as I realized that time was running out. I scanned the deck, searching for any alternative means of escape. And that's when I saw it, a collapsible lifeboat. It lay upside down, abandoned and forgotten. 
Without a second thought, I dove into the frigid water, determined to reach it. The icy embrace of the ocean enveloped me, threatening to pull me under. But I fought against the currents, willing myself towards that small sliver of hope. With every stroke, my body screamed in protest, but the adrenaline and determination propelled me forward. Finally, I reached the lifeboat. I clung to its overturned frame, struggling to pull myself onto it. It was a battle against exhaustion, against the numbing cold, but I refused to give up. With a final surge of strength, I hoisted myself onto the makeshift vessel, gasping for breath. I wasn't alone. Others who had also been denied a place in the lifeboats had found refuge here. We were a group of survivors, thrown together by circumstance. Fear and relief mingled in our eyes as we huddled together, our bodies shivering in the unforgiving night. In the distance, we watched as the mighty Titanic succumbed to the weight of its destiny. The once majestic ship tilted, its lights flickering, before vanishing beneath the waves. It was a sight that tore at our hearts, a reminder of the fragility of human existence. Hours turned into eternity as we drifted, lost in the vastness of the ocean. Our bodies grew numb, our spirits tested. But we clung to the hope that a rescue was imminent, that the darkness would yield to the light. And rescue did come. As the first light of dawn broke on the horizon, a ship emerged from the mist, the RMS Carpathia. It was a sight that filled us with joy and relief. We were saved, snatched from the clutches of certain death. As I stepped onto the deck of the Carpathia, a wave of gratitude washed over me. I had survived the unthinkable. The Titanic, the mighty ship believed to be unsinkable, had met its tragic end. And I, along with the others who had braved that fateful night, carried the weight of that experience for the rest of our lives. In the aftermath, we faced the bitter truth, over 1,500 souls were lost that night, swallowed by the icy depths. Families shattered, dreams left unfulfilled, the world forever changed. The sinking of the Titanic was a devastating blow, a stark reminder of the hubris of man and the relentless power of nature. Now, as an old man reflecting on those memories, I feel a duty to share my story, to honor the lives lost and the lessons learned. The Titanic serves as a poignant reminder, a reminder of the strength of the human spirit, of the bonds formed in the face of adversity, and of the fragile thread that connects us all. May we never forget the tragedy of the Titanic, and may we always strive to learn from its legacy, a legacy etched in the annals of history, and forever etched in the hearts of those who survived. Thank you for watching. Please, like, share, subscribe for more videos, press the bell icon and select all to get notifications.